Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from Resident Culture Brewing Company out of Charlotte, North Carolina. This beer is called Casual sorry, Casual Continuum. Um, it is a, a New England style IPA. It's 7.0 ABV. Uh, Description just says IPA hopped heavily with Nelson Sauvin, Citra, and Mosaic, which to me sounds like a uh, pretty good combination. Um, so yeah, let's, let's crack it open and see what we got. I can smell it from here. Wow. So, as you can see, it pours a, a pretty hazy, darker golden color. Um, there's almost, it pretty much looks like orange juice from here. Even, well, darker, but the uh, haze is definitely like orange juice. With about a uh, finger's worth of a fluffy white head that's actually sticking around. It's not really dissipating very quickly. <coughs> The aroma is definitely Nelson forward. Uh, it has a lot of the white wine notes. Um, there's a little bit of like earthy dankness to it. In some like uh, like innards of a uh, papaya, like. So it's not super juicy like a peach. It's kind of like an unripe, like unripened mango. How that kind of tastes and smells like pine. That's what this reminds me of. Ooh, that is good. Um, that is. A lot of Nelson Sauvin. If you are a huge fan of Nelson Sauvin, this is the beer that you want. Um, I like Nelson, but it, I, I think it's best within with like a bunch of other things, which is kind of kind of what's going on here. I mean, it's still only three hops, but blended with Citra and Mosaic, it kind of tones down the um, the what I generally consider like sharp white wine characteristics of excuse me, of Nelson, um, and that's pretty much what's going on here, like, the aroma was more Nelson than, definitely more Nelson than Citra or Mosaic, but, when I taste it, Nelson is still leading the, the front, but it does have a little bit of a, a softer, juicier uh, underbelly than if this was just like uh, just Nelson single hopped. Um, it does have a little bit of uh, that blueberry, like over or blueberry mosaic uh, over ripened pineapple character to it, um, but it's definitely Nelson driven. But the thing that makes it so good, in my opinion, just like the the last no, the last Nelson, the last President Culture can I reviewed, um, not oh inked in inked in the womb. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, regardless of like the, the the different hot flavors in it, the beer itself is very very well rounded. The bitterness and the um, the malt. Sweet or the sweetness level or completely in balance. Um, it's not very sweet at all. It's actually pretty dry. It's like juicy and dry at the same time. And by that, what I mean is like there's a huge hit of flavor, but then it falls off very quickly, and there's not really much sweetness. 
and that's that's what I want in IPA. Like I, I like the really juicy flavors, but I don't want it to be sweet. I just want the juice and then it to be dry, like finish really dry. And that's their better IPAs. That's what they do. Um, so that's that's what you get out of this. Like the the big like white wine, um, pineapple character is is right there in your face but then it, it drops off and finishes really dry which is nice it is almost like a little stinky like Nelson is a very unique hop uh, and this is to me at least from my taste it's pretty obvious that that's the leading driver in this beer uh, but again, I think it's very well rounded with the other hops in it. So, like the Inked in the Womb, this is such a well crafted IPA. Um, the flavors are super bright and in your face, but that's not at the cost of like sacrificing the body, or you know it being like super vegetal or like super bitter. Um, burny hop matter taste like not you don't get any of that with their IPAs you just get the flavor of the hops and a little bit of a balancing bitterness and that's it and that there's not many breweries that can do that like there's a lot that can get that flavor but then there's a lot of baggage that comes with it there's like that just that hoppy burn character and it's not even uh alpha acid bitterness but it's just like a burn that sits in the back of your throat or you know some other multi character or something else like with theirs there you don't you don't get all that baggage it's just super fresh awesome hop flavors so that's why in my opinion they're one of the best um breweries in in the world at brewing uh IPA so this was eighteen dollars for a four pack um i would absolutely absolutely buy this again it's really really good uh i only bought one four pack of each of the beers <coughs> excuse me that they released recently and i mean that'll last me because between the four of them it's 16 cans but if i hadn't bought one of each and i just bought this like i would probably go back and buy another one of this or another one of the ink in the womb because that was very very good too drastically different than this but both very good in their own right um yeah that's, i think that's all i got to say on this guy um there's not much you know when something is just flawless in my opinion there's there's less to say something there's less to say about something that's flawless than there is something that's very flawed um because all you can say is it's great it's amazing it's perfect blah 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 if it's flawed, there's a bunch of stuff you can pick out. So, yeah. Look out for this. Look out for everything they do. I can't believe they don't have more hype than they do. But once they start pumping out, like, stouts and stuff, too, they're just going to be crazy all over the map. So, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.